Hi friends, here's a story called I Am a Scientist and you can write your name because it says by and you're going to be the author of this story. So let's find out what a scientist does. A scientist, I can ask a question. What might the question be that you're trying to find out? I can predict. Predict is taking a question and taking a guess what the answer might be. It might not be right, but that's okay. You're just taking a guess. Such as, what's going on with the chicken? I can sort, meaning different groups, because these are not the same. I can explain. So I have this and this, and this is how I'm gonna get to this. I can compare. It means you check things out and see if it works together or does not work together. I can measure using a measuring cup or measuring spoons or a ruler. I can magnify using a magnifying glass. Makes things bigger to check out your area. I can observe meaning I can look at things and see what I see. I can record, meaning I can write things down or draw a picture or find a picture that I can put down on paper. I can collaborate. Collaborate means you work with other people. So it can be you with one person or two people or a whole group. And I can test, means try it out to see what happens. Will it work? Will it not work? Sometimes things work and sometimes they don't, but that's how we learn is by checking it out. That's what a scientist does. Then we have a silly scientist headband that you're gonna make. We have the silly mad scientist here. And then we have some different objects on here, like a magnifying glass, outer space, a light bulb, a test tube, and then a bug in a jar, it looks like a ladybug. And you can cut down this line and it can wrap around your head. You can put one of the scientists in the front and one in the back. Then we have a packet that says name here and the directions are here. Down here, you're gonna cut out all these things. Are they a scientist tool or not a scientist tool? We're gonna to come back to that in just a moment. But inside this packet, it talks about scientist tools. So here's a scientist. It's a person that studies things in science. You can read the word and then you can trace over the word and write your name. Practicing your name is always a good thing. Here are test tubes, a dropper to take water from one thing to another, a hand lens or a magnifying glass, goggles, a microscope, that makes things that are really tiny, really big, so you can see really close. A lab coat. And on this last page, we have, you can write your name, and then there's different letters. M, L, H, D, G, T. They are uppercase letters, so you can trace over them. And then you're gonna make a match to what's on this side. For example, let's choose an L for lab coat. You're gonna take from the dot and go to the dot. You're gonna do all of these. And let's go back to the first page and figure out what are scientist tools and not scientist tools. For example, a present. Would that be a scientist tool or not a scientist tool? Even though it's fun, it would not be a scientist tool. How about goggles? That would be a scientist tool because scientists use those all the time. How about a thermometer? That would be a scientist tool. Go through the rest of these and have lots of fun. Bye, friends.